But before before connecting the CSS and the and the HTML, because if you build your website right now, you'll see that it's not black. It should be black because we just made it black on the style. We said that the body is going to be black, but it's not working, right? Because it's not black, right? So before the, before knowing how to connect to CSS and the HTML, because right now they're not connected, I wanted to mention this little trick that it's important for debugging your website or to know what's happening on the website. I would recommend that you add this into every website you build until you finish it or maybe until the middle of the project because it adds a, a red dashed border to every element on the website. You can see it here, for example. Look at all these red dashed borders. So that means I have one element. You can see here that I have one element that is this one, right? And then I have another small box here, this one, and then another one here, and then another one here, like on top of each other, there's three boxes. There's one, then there's two, then there's three. And I can see that because of, of this style, if I don't add this style, they will be all invisible. And that can be annoying for a junior and for a senior developer as well, I think. I don't use these dashes anymore, but I used them for a long time, and I think you should too, because it's going to help you out a lot to debug at the beginning. So aside from that, let's test it, and probably we already have our dashes. Okay, we can continue. And now we're going to connect the styles. So if you copy and paste this link tag here, it's going to work. You can see that if I build it now, it's all black and it has the dashes, you see? And it has the hello that it didn't show because it's black, but if you highlight it, you see it there. But I wanted to talk a little, about, a little bit about the link tag. The link tag is to link your HTML and your CSS. And it also, it always must have a little bit more boilerplate than the other tags, because normally when you write a tag, you just put the name of the tag and you close it like this, or maybe you add a class could happen. But with the link tag, you have to add rel style sheet always don't forget about that actually my recommendation don't even type it you know just say link and press enter and it will do it for you and then you can type the the path to the style sheet it's always relative to the current directory so if index is in this directory and styles in this is in the same one i i don't have to put anything else i can just put styles.css but if styles let's say that i have a folder here and i'm gonna call this folder my styles and then the styles are inside of that folder. Then since they are not in the same in the same folder, I would have to say that you first have to get into my styles and then styles. You see, like from this index.html directory, I want to get into this directory and then the styles. See, see, see. That's this is called a relative path. It's relative to the current file, to where the current file is standing at. So I don't want that, right? I want to have it outside so I can delete this folder and then I can delete here as well everything and I can just say style.css. The, the href stands for hyper reference. Don't worry about that. Uh, you can imagine that it says URL or path and it's the same thing, but you have to name it href. So again, you're saying I want a link tag. I want it to be relative style sheet and I wanted to have a hyper reference to style.css. And another thing that you may have noticed is that this tag doesn't close like the other ones. You should close it. You can close it like this. My recommendation, close everything you can because it's a good practice. And if you start learning other things in HTML, like React in JavaScript, they would force you to fix those errors because this is an inconsistency. If HTML is supposed to close everything, why is the link tag not closing? You know, it should close. So just leave it closed and it will still work. Look, if I build it, oh, it didn't work, my bad. What if I self close it like this? Yeah, it does work. Yeah, so just, just close it like this. Um, when a tag opens and closes without having any content inside, like for example, if I remove hello from here and I'm gonna leave empty the inner HTML of the tag, like the inner part, I can just put a forward slash here and remove the closing tag and it's the same thing you know that's self-closing tag so that's a, that's what i did with the link tag right there here 
I put a forward slash at the end. Okay, like I said, if I built, everything is black and I have my my red borders for debugging, I can compile and everything passes.